Alright gamers, welcome back to part 3 Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last we left off, we were looking for a shovel so we could bury our de recently deceased Mama and Papa San that were mowed down by an evil bald man with a baller mustache that I will claim as my own someday. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this game to be honest. <laughs> I really like this game, it's super fun. Now that I actually killed some bandits and I feel like I'm a, like I can actually fight now. Those Crutans or whatever they're called, Crutans? They freaking, the Crutans, they murdered me, but... You got a shovel? Alright, who's got a shovel? A quest marker should tell me where it's... Well, my quest marker says I can go anywhere. What the hell? Is this a shovel? Did anyone die and, like, leave a conveniently placed shovel anywhere? Possibly? Maybe where that dog's barking. I hear a dog. Where you at? There's probably a shovel up at our house. I'm trying to follow this dog's noise. Because it keeps barking and it's kind of annoying me. Where you at? Maybe I can get him to join me on my quest to kill the bald man. Ah, he has a shovel. Don't hurt the dog. Save the dog. It's our duty. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Bishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Join me. The butchers. Isn't that body the butchers? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? He's protecting him, you dick. Bro, you trying to catch this sword? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What's yeah, were you? What I'm doing here? What are you doing? I'm here to bury my parents. I asked what you're doing. How about you give me an answer? Yeah, I'm a knight. Look at my guard. To confess, I'll go to the priest. Ah, I succeeded. Go away and leave me in peace. Oh, he rhymed at me. I want to ask some questions. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What Bro, do you I piss me off. They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Hey, I'm about to take care of you. I'm about to give you a fucking sword. Yeah, how did you get away? How did you manage to get away? How do you think? I ran. Ah, fuck you. I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation Yeah. About to catch a sword, motherfucker. That's right! Turn tail and run, you bastard! Oh, I don't know where the fuck you think you're going, fam. Let me put away my sword. I don't want to fucking actually kill him. Come here, dude. Hey! Business to take care of no! First. Shit, I'm fucked up pussy! Oh. First, I must bury my parents. He punched me around. Mm. I suck. I'm an idiot. I should have thought he would have ran. I'm ding dong. Hey, doggo. Did he take the shovel with him? Oh, I was about to say, oh. <laughs> Pump. I'm not gonna loot. I just want the dog. I'm not gonna loot him. The doggo already. I'm not gonna kill the dog. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have beat his ass. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, well. I've made two bad decisions. I let that bandit escape, and then I let him escape. Where's the linden tree? Is that the linden tree? That's a big old tree. Oh wait, I have a... I need to start using that quest marker more. I'm not used to that. Ah, oh, man. At least I got to call him a freaking bitch before he ran away. <laughs> I pulled out my sword, he's like, ah! <laughs> I'm gone. 
This is a good person. You're gonna like it. You probably need to carry him too, but let's just dig the hole and then we'll carry him, I guess. Or maybe the cutscene will do it for me. Oh, come with me, dog. You can be my friend. Join my quest. Join me. Give him an apple. You come to cheer me up? That's a homie. Let's get to it. Someone kills my dang dog, I will John Wick everyone in this fucking game. <laughs> With no exception. I will scum save and John Wick everyone in the game. God dang it. <laughs> not even playing. Or anybody involved in the killing. They better not kill my dog. I don't know if the dog's gonna come with me or not, but if he does... Story be damned. <laughs> I will murder everyone involved. Damn it all. Yeah, that's gotta be hard picking up your dead parents. That'd be awful. God dang. It's tough, man. Oh, I'd be crying like a little bitch. As I picked him up, I'd be crying. Oh my god. Oh, that'd be awful. That'd be so bad. I'd be bawling like a little girl. Oh, we're gonna do this. Or a little boy. Some child that cries a lot. <laughs> oh. Do you need some help? I'll give you... Oh, don't... Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? I'll fuck all y'all up. What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers. All right, let's do it. One at a time, please. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needed. All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! Bring it. Cut the bastard down. One v one me. Punk, I'm ready. Where's my shield? As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Aha! Ah! Uh -huh. Stab him in the face! Me, let me fight. It's my time. Yes. Alright, dick. Ah, you just brained me, what the hell? Damn, that did a lot of damage. I gotta play safer than that. Oh man, redo. Hell no, we ain't letting that happen. Not like this. Redo. I told you how it would end. God, he's so strong and he got ah, I suck. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now. For the maiden bloodletting. <sighs> Surely your father never would have imagined it would be. He's gonna kill my dog, and I'm gonna be real fucking mad. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. God, he hit me twice and I died. Did you help make it? How did they do grabs? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you help forge. Kick him in the nuts! Do you have a gun? 
She's got a squad. I better drop my damn sword, bitch. Yeah, fuck y'all. I'm in trouble, though. <laughs> Uh, ah, we're about to redo that. I'm not a big fan of this. Can I redo that, or is that supposed to happen? I think it might have been supposed to happen. This sucks. I'm so pissed. <sighs> At least my dog lived. God dang. I did hit him a couple times, but he had actual armor, so I don't know. I didn't even get to bury them still. Okay. What a homie. I want my sword back. I want my family back. Damn. I wonder if there's... There probably is a way to beat that dude. I just suck. I don't know what to do when they grab you, though. They just slowly grab me and I can't do anything about it. I'm fucking... Oh. I take a knee to the face and lost half my health. Oh, the doggo's coming with us. Can I have my sword back? <laughs> I'll probably... Uh... Oh, there's another. We got multiple doggos. That was one hell of an intro tutorial. Got my butt kicked by everybody, yet again. I, could, uh, I felt like I had more of a chance against that guy than the human dude, so... I feel like I could have beat him if I just didn't get hit. Should have done a th thrusting motion since he was keeping his reach. But, what? You live and you learn and you fucking get your ass beat, I guess. What the hell is that? The chef. Baker man. Where's my sword? Oh, whoa, 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 where are we at? Nightmare world. Awakening quest. Save your parents. <laughs> The hell am I supposed to fight these dudes? They so fast! I don't think I can actually save my parents. I'm getting my ass whooped. Why am I so weak in my dream? They were kicking my ass. I don't think we're doing too good a job. I don't think we're supposed to win that. Save your parents with your bare hands. Okay. <laughs> what is it with bald people and being such dicks in this game? Get up, Henry, wake up. It's a new day. 
Henry, can you hear me? Mom? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Yes. Teresa? I had a nightmare where I got my ass whooped. Fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Retay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. I'm glad she survived at least. A few delirious days later. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Um. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What about my sword? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? Mm. They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. <laughs> Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. They wanted my sword. Ugh, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later, we woke up for a brief interlude, I guess, to go back to sleep. To you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. <laughs> you can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Too easy. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Retay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. Nice. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while mm. he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. Yeah. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. All righty. Well, I would like my sword back, if possible. <laughs> Hey, 
need the good old bread rolls. I want vengeance. I like that quest. Oh, give me some of that. Yeah. Oh, I really did lose my sword, though. I can't even use this. Why? What does the X mean? Q. Probably because it's breaking. Better than nothing. For right now. Gotta get that sword back at some point. Why do I have so many pairs of hunters gloves? Which ones are better? Why can I wear so many layers of clothes? <laughs> what the world? Excuse me. Alright, I guess we're good enough. I leveled up my strength somehow. Carry 15 pounds more gives you a. F yes, yes, I, we need to win these clinches. I'm tired of losing those. Yes, I do want that. Because I keep getting kneed in the face every time we go into a clinch. It's not cool. Let's look at these quests. The tournament covened by Sir Hanish takes place once every seven days at Rate at Upper Castle. The aim of the tourney is to test the skills with all of combatants with all kinds of weapons. It's. Intended for commoners, so you can enroll too. I want to enroll. After completing the side quest next to Godliness with Sir Hans, you can accept a new quest from him, which will launch an instance of the regular tournament. If you're not sure where to find him, look for the the whatever icon that is. If you're already progressed in the storyline as far as the epilogue, you won't be able to accept the quest from Kapan, and the tournament will launch on its own. The tournament will not take place while Sir Hanish is at work. That's interesting that it give that much information when I haven't even beat the game we gotta find what's his face what's up homie my name's Henry thank you for taking care of me here my name's Peshek and I'm the Miller here you've already met my niece Teresa she took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo and talking of you being at death's door while you were lying here you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. Got see. it. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. So if you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? I'm pretty clever. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not uh, get caught smuggling. while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Oh, crap. Should have picked the gravedigger court. No court. honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples. Or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. <sighs> Tell me more. I've prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse? Take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz. There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. 
Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. <laughs> Still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I'm not risking my honor. Right. That was a pretty speech, but you're still talking about a filthy deed. I won't do it. I value my honor higher than coin. Right. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back, and quick. That's fine. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Bro, you don't want none, old man. Good luck to you. Can you tell me... What about the Scalets, folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work, they just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Ooh. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Fair. That's all. Take care now. I'm not doing that dang job. All right, what quest we got? I must find Mark Vaught and avenge my parents. I have to find the bastard who stole the sword from me. I believe his name was... goes by... has something to do with... Yeah, where should I go for that? It was helpless to do a thing. I'll find that bastard who led the raid on Scatlets and killed him, and I'll find the... Well, that's gonna be a while. Not doing the shady job. I need to talk to the apothecary, wherever that is. Yeah, I feel like it's not a good idea to take that job. As someone that wants to be a knight, I don't want people seeing me digging up corpses. I don't know how to get up there. Do I have my horse? I'm a little horse. Well, this definitely ain't like <laughs> The Witcher or Legend of Zelda. That horse should be galloping out of nowhere this very moment. God, this is going to be a long winding road. What's up, homie? What are you doing? You a villager? Hired hand. What's up? Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus? What kind of governor is Sahanesh? He's strict but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in nothing like that, Sir Radzig. So you don't see no one attacking us. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Ha! <laughs> don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. <laughs> I know they've met with misfortune. But here they do nothing but they even make problems. I'll be with you. Oh, Thanks, man. God damn it, my stomach hurts. Oh yeah, I have food. Wait a second. I'm done. Where's my apples at? Oh, they took my money too? I had more money than that. God dang it. Eat all the food that's gone bad, I guess. What is this? What's that in the bottom right? I don't know what that icon is. I can fast travel, but I'm good right now. What's up, homies? Halt! Who are you and where are you going? 
I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Thwaites. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? And what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. Yeah, nice. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Thanks, fam. Where's the apothecary at? Are you an apothecary? What battle? Sigismund's gone. Maybe so, but the land's... So Hell! What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. But what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? I ran. You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Ratzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as hmm. quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You trick them nicely. See you later. Hmm. Well, I still don't know what that is in the bottom right, though. I wish I could figure it out. What is that icon? Did level up my stealth, but I don't think I get anything from it. I guess that's just a skill I have. What's this? Hmm. Whatever, we'll figure it out. What's up, guys? More interrogation questions. That be the Smith's son, Hal. On my soul. Be. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. Yeah. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Thanks, man. I feel like I'm gonna get blessed out for being here. What is this, a toilet? It is a toilet. Huh. I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for going in here. But, you know. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. <laughs> Deep True. fucking shit. I feel that. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. The pitch stein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Hmm. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Hmm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? All right, Friar John, come down. I won't down. lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? 
I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, hmm. young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. Hmm. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. That's me. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury oh, my pray parents. Oh, pray, son. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> Big man. Your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. Hmm. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Uh, oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. <laughs> Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. Yeah. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so <laughs> concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. Yeah. Homie. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight <laughs> to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything Got left him. to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I hmm. understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and the dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy. Ah, uh, uh, shut up, you pompous dick. Duke Sedivish lost your sword. You've done nothing. Put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you Sir say Capon. is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Yeah, Baldy. Everybody that's Bald's evil in this game. are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Is he a good guy? Besides, that was a fine I sword he was evil. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. Shut up, Friar. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Friar John, Why not? 
Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he's a peasant father, he's a blacksmith, and recent events have left me in need of his skills. Sick burn. So, would like to enter my service? So, I... yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. I won't. Oh, Be fortune better. has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make I like the this most guy. of it. I like you, Chunky. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training. And then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. He's about and to beat the shit out of me. don't spare him. Don't hurt me, Baldy. Don't on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Finally, some training so we can swing our sword. <laughs> like a non dingus. Alright, train me. This game's pretty dope. What is this A key over here? What is this dude? Train hard, fight easy. I'm ready for some training. Hopefully I don't miss any other quests since I'm skipping right to it. Ah, oh, it's a doggo. What happened to my doggo? I guess I don't get a dog. Uh, the NPCs in this game are lucky I don't get a dog, because eventually I probably would have had to John Wick everybody. What is this star? I don't know, but it's cool. Parkour, baby? Hey, what's up, girl? Who is that? Townswoman. Well, we found the tavern. Seems like it's closed right now, but... Where are the training grounds at? This A thing is forever far away. Ah, I see that symbol that I was talking about for the tournament. Train me. I want to be awesome. Yeah. Where's Captain Jackass at? This god, this is too far. He's gotta be somewhere in here. Must be the star, I'm guessing. Hmm. Hmm. Where would he be at? Maybe up there? Allowed to open this, or are they gonna get mad at me? Hey, oh, what are I'm just you doing? kidding. I'm not get doing anything. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, get off me. What's that? What? Uh, it said he was in the training ground. Let's look at the. Maybe he's up there somehow. Let's see. Quest log. <sighs> Sir Radzig wants me to undertake training with his captain, Sir Bernard. He has a reputation of being gruff. I'm supposed at the training arena by the upper castle in Rate. Mid morning till evening. Oh crap, I gotta tell what time it is and everything? Is this private area? Oh, hey, you've no oh. business here. I'm sorry. Clear Shit. <laughs> I didn't notice the private area symbol. Alright, this is the place, right? This is mid morning till evening, I would believe. Where's the captain at? Greetings. What do you need? Captain. What are the rules of the tournament? Is there anything I should watch out for? Well, it's not a life or death we'll wait on the tournament. We're not barbarians, after all. Anything in particular you'd like to know? 
how long does it go on? All hmm. day long. The combatants have to go through several tough bouts before the outcome is decided. Usually, the victory is announced before sunset, but it's not unheard of for duels to drag out until nightfall. How many rounds do I have to win to become the final victor? Depends how many people enroll. Today comes out of three rounds. The combatants who win the first round go through to the second, and the winners of the second will fight each other in the final duel. Nice. What are the rules of combat? The tourney is for commoners, but that doesn't mean chivalrous behavior doesn't apply. Anyone who leaves the arena before the winner is announced forfeits the duel. If you strike an opponent who has yielded, you'll be disqualified too. And what do I have to do to win? Do I have to beat the opponent every time, or do I get several tries? To get to the second round, you have mm. to beat your opponent twice in the first one. If both opponents win one bout each in the round, the victor is decided in a third duel. Just say the two hours, wins sorry, that bro. one goes on to the next round. <laughs> what kind of weapons are used in the tourney? You can take your pick. In the first two duels, that is. If a third duel is needed to decide the matter, Sir Hannes chooses the weapons. Can I borrow weapons and armor here? Not only can you, you have to. This is about fighting skill, not about who's got the best kit. So you and your opponent get the same. Oh, There's equipment prepared for all the combatants. As soon as you sign up, you'll have armor and weapons prepared for you too. Okay. Thanks. That's all I need to know. May the Lord watch over you. Alright, I need to find that one dude, wherever he's at. Oh god, it's another private area. Private area is everywhere. Is this private? This is a private. Oh. Look out. You walk out. I'm not robbing anything right now. I can't find the dude I'm looking for. Am I in the right place? Whatever, we'll follow the H. I hope that A is leading me to the place. Trying to get some training here, boy. And then I'll do the combat trial. Maybe this is it over here. I did learn out some good information from that Herald, though, before I start whopping everybody. Or getting whopped. Oh, there we go. What's up, homie? Teach me. Good day to you. Can I ask... What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? He seems like I awesome. Complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king. Probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon Seems like? like a bitch. He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young Lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick and you lot can clear off. Rude. Perikstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Ah, that's what he's mad about. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord Kipchaks. says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to crime. I'm gonna stop asking about the Cumans, because they just tell me the whole Thank you. same thing over and over. That's all I wanted to know. Over and over again. I'm here for training. Teach me. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. It's me. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. I've held a sword. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced then. So. I'll be with you. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. 
Come at me and don't hold back. God, why is he so good at this? Good strike. Ah, counter. Damn it. Yeah. Ah, he always counters a stab. Oh, he's beat my ass. Wait a second now. Why is it, uh, I just... Hmm. God, he's just so much better than me. Oh, we got him, finally. How do you do that? How do you guys grab each other? I probably should have just done the basics. Oh, he's See, beating me up. Then attack unexpectedly. Okay. Oh. Fine enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work okay. to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That Got is it. your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ah, that's it. No, that's not it. Wrong. Again. Well done. Hmm. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. Okay. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. Show me. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Yeah, how do you do that? Teach me that. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. A parry. Good. Ow. Very good. He said it was good, though. I need to wait a little bit longer. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Nice. I gotta get better at blocking. Too soon again. Hi. Right. It's really hard when it's moving in slow mo. Do it like normal. Not too soon. Try right. and catch the rhythm. See the sword move, <sighs> you move at the same time and deflect it. Got it. There we go. Very. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Okay. We're getting it. We're getting it, I guess. Uh, all right. It does give me a cue to tell me when to block, but it... Should I wait till later? Or... Well done. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Ow. Oh, crap. This is hard. Captain Bernard. It's hard to keep the sword in the right spot. What? How dare you interrupt us? You want to spar, punk? Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? 
I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. You want some? Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? Fight me. Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Hmm. I think we need to spar me. Where did we finish? Yeah. Leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Alright. How'd you do that? Well, let me right All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. How do you jump aside, though? Uh, oh, crap. No, again! I guess I can just move. Very good! Good. How do you dodge if it's coming from the left and right, though? All right. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Oh, See God, that's hard in this game. Properly started. Good. Ooh, excuse me. Very good. Hip. And nice. you missed. And the Let last hit thing for today. A trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Oh, show me. Not like that! Uh, that that's it! That didn't seem like it worked to me, but... Wrong! Again! Very good! Not bad! Wrong! You mean wrong? No! That's not it! Wrong! Again! No! Oh, again! I don't get it. Prepare to strike by holding... Then change zone and release the strike. Ah, I got you, got right. you. I'm learning. Right. Ah. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. All right. Maybe we'll make a soldier with you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You this might have talent. <laughs> this is talent real hard. alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can I teach train. you something more when you're up to it. I'm ready. Train me more. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Ah, right, give me one moment. I want to level up my stuff. I leveled up somewhere. Hmm. Stab slash. I just feel like the mouse isn't the best place to use to get the thing to go in the right direction. Might be easier with this control stick. Or controller. Control stick. I need to put away my sword, I'm sure. Yeah, that's. Oh, no, sheath it, sheath it. You walk so slow. So, where are we going? I'm pretty excited to see what the archery is like. I wonder if that's... I wonder if it's super hard or, like, easy. I feel like in games, archery is either OP or just useless.
If your opponent flees, grab and turn him around with the F key, giving you a chance to finish him around. Oh, I wish I would have known that earlier. I like that it does come up with like random hits at the top though, that's pretty cool. Come on, Captain Bernard. Who's this guy? God be with you. God be with you. I ain't really got time, my dude's walking away. West started Rattay Tournament. There will be a tournament at Rattay tomorrow. You can enroll by going to see the Herald in the morning. That'll be cool. Watch me, I'll shoot this sucker. It's my time. My time! Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there. And we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks. And get in position. Now no. concentrate. The bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. Why are you a hater, dog? Talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the what? bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. I no want to make sure. movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it He keeps back. talking. I'm trying to get to my inventory so I can put the frame verses on. Flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow right, drops good. quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered <sighs> I'm the I'm trying to put it on, but you won't let me. I can't go to my inventory. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot it. Oh, we missed. And Amias! Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you I would have no like you failed to meet even my low expectations. Let me redo. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivano. Oh, you pissed Nothing me off, dude. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other coward. You can't just hold it. It actually lets After go of it. done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Yeah. Uh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm Shut up, yourself, Bernard. Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any yes. Time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Oh, why is everybody gonna mess with me? Bullseye, you lose, son. What's up? Easy. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. <laughs> I told you, you said I it ever get some first wins. Ever since I fell off that horse during the Aww, last month. Oh, heavy hand. Oh. I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight? Is yes. Yes. You like? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. He needs to ask for him. What he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? I'm ready to whoop that ass again. Excellent. Then let's go. 
Ooh, you about to get the ass whooped, Hans Capon. Ooh, you challenged her wrong. I'm glad we won. Oh, crap. Wait a second now. Now, now. Oh, crap. God, it's so hard to block. God, he always parries me. Give up. Now I'm waiting for you to give up. Why do I always lose that? God, he always kicks my ass to the punch. And he won't swing first, he's a little bitch. Why do you always win the damn <laughs> Yeah, take that, punk. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Take that, son. Oh, he got me again. God dang it. Who's winning this? Oh, dang it. Oh, damn. He got me good there. Hold up now. I was trying to dodge it, but damn. It's hard. Take that. Fuck it. Ah, crap. God, he's beat my ass. Take that. Why won't I block? God damn it, is my shield broken? What's going on here? Oh. God, he keeps winning these clinchers shits. Ah, damn it, dude. Fucking pussy. Block, you sucker. Do I not have the energy to block? Can't hit him. Ah, he gets more box than I do. I can't win that. Cut. 
Fuck you, dude. Oh, we don't have those same ones. Yeah, take that. Uh, he's winning. Come here, little. Who won? The tie? You got the better of me this oh, time. Oh, thank Black God. Smith. That was awful. I must be having an off day. That's so hard. Right, He's beat my butt. Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Oh, he's not too bad anyways. He's just punk. God, I got my ass kicked though. Jesus. I gotta get better. Excuse me. Hmm. God, I suck. Renegade brand. Penalties on stats falling released from <laughs> That's not good. What is the point of that? Penalties on stats fall oh less penalties from going to jail. Yeah, these all kinda of suck. I'm just gonna save it. Maybe I'll get better perks eventually. I'm just gonna save it. That's annoying. Skills, swords. God, at least we won. I guess. I don't feel like I won, but I guess I did. We'll take it. Where's the swordsmanship skill? Oh, yeah, we got a perk there. Combat skills. Swordsmanship. Swordsmanship, not a skill? What is it? There we go. What is this? Oh, I don't know how to do this, though. So. That looks super hard. Yeah, we'll take it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I can't even do regular attacks, but... Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. You seem like he's I, dude. I hope he has. <laughs> Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right. Well, that was fun. All right, guys. We're going to call the part here. Well, at least we got to do some combat. But I still suck. It's so hard. I'm so bad. I wish I could... Let me see if I can do that combo. Can I even pull out my sword? No, I can't pull out my sword right now. Let's see if he's got anything to say after getting his butt whooped. What's up, dude? Nope. I wouldn't say anything either. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, guys. If you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. <laughs> and, uh... We got a lot of the cutscenes out of the way. I'm guessing we're getting to the meat and potatoes of the game now where we actually play. We actually had a good bit of combat, but I still need to work on it. But, yep. Bye!